Today I'm going to be sketching a portrait of Pedro Pascal's character Joel from The Last of Us. I wanted to keep this fairly loose and fast for a few reasons. Mainly to show how simple it is to construct a face with a few lines and shapes in the right places, to add and build upon each feature, and then embellish those features with a few details and simple shading techniques. I begin by working out a rough area where the head will be placed, so I already have a perimeter to work within. I then add the prominent lines that give this shape context, such as the neck and jaw lines. Then, I add the key facial features. Firstly, I begin with the nose, then the brow line, which helps me to place the eyes. Then the mouth, which leads me to the chin, which I can connect with the jaw and necklines I already set in place. At this stage, it's not perfectly accurate, but it gives me an idea of a placement, which direction to take it in. I can then add some finer details and refine any other lines that look incorrect. The key is to put a few things in place to aid you, and as you build up the layers, you can adjust as you go. You'll never get it right first time, especially when you work loosely, but each mark you make will help you take a step forward as your eye will be able to tell what's working and what's not. Once you're more or less happy with the basic construct, you can add the other features and details and carry on adapting your previous lines as you build the new ones. As it starts to take shape and you can see the characteristics and likeness appearing, this should give you more confidence to add some more marks without overthinking. Begin to add some textures and shading to your line work. This will hide some of your construction and incorrect lines, but also allow you to see the form and value of the portrait. The planes of the face, the bone structure, skin texture, the hair, as well as the shadows and highlights dictated by the main light source.
I use a few different techniques for shading. Once again, I try to add these very quickly. So my favorite methods are crosshatching to cover a large surface area, but to be in control of the contour lines. And for the darkest, more solid areas, to use the side edge of the pencil, or sometimes a combination of both of these methods. When you feel you're almost there, study the portrait for a while and try to see what else it needs. Don't try to put too many details in, for the most part usually less is more. As this is just a sketch, I'm not looking for perfection, but the main aspects I wanted to focus on were likeness, form, and tonal value. So a few tweaks here and there should be enough. I am fairly pleased with how this turned out. I hope you enjoyed the process and the result. I know this wasn't exactly a tutorial, but I hope that you learned something from the methods that I used. But let me know your thoughts. If you'd like to see more of a step-by-step -step tutorial, let me know. But thank you for joining me today, and uh, I look forward to the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.